Hi, welcome to the part two of the home distillation video. So if you haven't watched part one of this video, the link is in the description and part one just goes through how to make a sugar, water and yeast wash. All right, so this video, I'm gonna show you how to then, once your wash has fermented, turn that into spirits. Okay, so my wash has been fermenting away for a bit over a week now and it's certainly stopped fermenting. There's no more bubbling happening on the bubbler. And if I remove the lid here, you can see that the surface is pretty smooth. There's no bubbling action at all. Oh, if you're having trouble taking one of these lids off, check out my other video in the description that shows you how to use a belt to open the lid. If you look at both of these washers, there's no bubbling action happening on the top because the fermentation process has completed. The wash looks a bit grey because it's got liquid carbon dissolved in it. So before we can actually run this through a still, we need to mix this up, even though you might think oh, all of the sediments at the bottom, you still got to mix it up. The reason for that is to degas, to make sure you don't have any diffused carbon dioxide just sitting in there. And when you stir it around, if you've got any carbon dioxide that's diffused into your wash, it will just come out and you'll hear it. It's just like a fizzy soda drink. Alright, I've stirred that for about 30 seconds now, and that should be enough. I'll just let that settle, and it will get rid of a lot of the gas. The next part is to make this come up nice and clear. So basically, we're going to get all of the liquid carbon and all of the debris that are floating around in the wash, from the dead yeast and whatever, and get them all to sink and settle on the bottom. So what we're left with is a nice, clean, clear wash. So to do that you need this two part solution. It's got a part A and a part B. So to do this you add the contents of part A to your wash and you vigorously stir that around and thoroughly mix it in. Then you just let it sit for one hour. After you've let it sit for one hour, you then need to slowly and carefully pour part B over the surface of your wash. And there's no need to vigorously mix this in because Basically what you want this to do is bind with anything that's floating. So once you've done that, 24 hours later, it will you'll come back to a nice clean wash. Alright, as I said in my other video, I would recommend just using this in one fermenter, but I'm greedy and I'll push it out to using two and that way I can make more alcohol and it's more cost effective. Now that I've used that one, you just stir it through. So this is part A only, so I'm gonna let this sit now for one hour. So it's been an hour now and you, as you can see, there is no change really to what the actual wash looks like. So now it's time to add the Turbo Clear part B. Now when you put this in, you just gently stir it, no vigorous stirring at all. Alright, so that's all stirred in now. We just have to wait 24 hours now, and then we'll get back to it tomorrow. Alright, so it's been about four days now, and this is certainly cleared up. As you can see, it's clear all the way to the bottom. Same with this one. Now, you would normally only need to take 24 hours or so after putting the ingredients in for that to clear up like that but I gave it an extra few days because I shared the ingredients between the both of them and that slowed down the process a little bit but it's all ready now to put into the still and concentrate the alcohol from this into something that's around 40% alcohol so to turn your fermented wash into spirits essentially you've got to concentrate the alcohol using heat now you do that in a still this here is a pot still it is made by a company called Steel Spirits, and this model is the Air Steel. This pot still will turn four liters at a time into one liter of 40% alcohol or vodka or neutral spirits. And it takes about two hours to do that for every four liters. So this is gonna take me a bit of time to be able to process all of the uh, wash into alcohol. Now there are better steels out there where you can fill them right up with higher capacities and they're great to use, however they are more expensive, but at the end of the day you will get quicker results and better tasting alcohol. This here is the bottom of the range, 
I have no issues using this still at all, but I do have to use activated carbon to be able to clean up and polish my spirits so it tastes nice, otherwise it has a bit of a, like a rubbery sort of smell at the end. But for me this works great. So this uh, still here is 240 volts. You plug it in, it's essentially like a big kettle. You plug it in, I use a timer, I set the timer for about one and a half, maybe two hours. And what it does is it heats up the wash in there, it creates a steam. The steam condenses in the top here and then slowly drips out and is collected in the container. Now inside this I put um, all of these ceramic beads which are reusable in the bottom there. And that stops any violent bubbling. You know on a saucepan when you've got it on a heat and it starts to hit that boiling point where you get all those bubbles? This breaks up those little bubbles and doesn't create any vigorous bubbling or anything like that. So it's, it's a good idea to put it in. And another thing I add to the still is a capful of this distilling conditioner which acts as a defoaming agent. So any un processed sugars in there don't froth up like all these bubbles and stuff and then clog up the top of this and then foam comes out of that. It prevents that from happening at all so it's highly recommended to have that in there. Alright so the lid of this comes off and this essentially has a fan in it and it condenses your alcohol and here it just looks like a normal kettle. So we're going to add these ceramic beads to this. We'll take them out of the packet of course and a cap full of this. I find that just capturing the very first part of the um, the wash as it comes through the tap will get any of the carbon or dead yeast that's stuck in the actual tap itself. So it's really black. Alright, so that's coming through nice and clear now. So I've just avoided having that in my wash. So I'll set that aside. Right now let's fill this up. So I've got a little bit of carbon in the bottom there. That's not too much of an issue. And as you can see already, it's foaming up. So I've just got a cap full of this distilling conditioner. And you'll see the results instantly as I put this in. It really does break up all of those bubbles and will prevent any boil overs. So that's filled up to the full line. So you just saw before the wash didn't look very clear. Um, this is just the second filling up of this still. And I didn't get all of that carbon that I got in the first go. So it's certainly a lot clearer. So that's how it would usually look. This timer here is just a nice cheap one that I've got for a couple of bucks, but it's certainly handy because I can just set this up and forget it. So I'm just going to set this to go for two hours. The timer's set, it's ready to be activated, and in a couple of minutes it will just tick itself on. It's important to put a container underneath here, and you want a container that has at least a litre capacity to be able to collect your spirits from here. Now the recommendation from the instruction manual is slightly different once again to what I actually do. The instruction manual will recommend you only take, I think, 700 mils from here and then you just add water to it to bring it up to one litre. Um, but you don't get as much alcohol and there is still alcohol left behind. So the procedure I use is I just leave this for two hours until it gets up to the one litre mark. Uh, the reason for that is, is I collect all of that alcohol and at the 1.25 litre mark it's at 40% in here. Now it does add a little bit of extra time you will need to run this through a filter but it's, it's definitely worth it for that little bit of extra alcohol. And a great tip that I do is I stick a bit of blue tack on the measurement so that way I know when it's full from a distance. If you're worried about collecting any poisons such as like methanol and things like that, uh, if you just put a shot glass in there, your first part of the alcohol wash will drip through here. Now it's in important if you are um, creating a wash that has any fruits and things like that in it, if it's not, or even vegetables, if it's not purely water, sugar, yeast, then you will, you will definitely need to discard this first part of your alcohol. And now the time has kicked off, but because I've just got a fermentation process that's just sugar, yeast and water, there is pretty much 0.000 percent of anything dangerous that comes through here. So there's nothing that's going to cause you to go blind or anything like that. So if you forget to collect that first part, that's not an issue. It's it's not a big deal for sugar washers. I just do it just in case for that added bit of confidence. You know, there may be the yeast mutated and did something completely weird, I don't know. It's better to be safe than sorry. Alright, so we'll come back to this in a couple of hours time and check up on our progress. So it's been about an hour so far and as you can see it's starting to drip through. So this is very high concentrated alcohol and if there was any methanol in this 
it would be dripping through here. Now I'll just show you how flammable this is by lighting up this on a spoon. So this first bit that comes through the still is very high in alcohol, it's very concentrated and if you needed that as a fuel source you could easily light that. But towards the end once it's around the one litre mark the alcohol content that will be dripping through that will be very minimal. It will still contain a little bit of alcohol but not as much as what's dripping through now. Now if you wanted to you could discard this here um, and then that way you didn't have any chance of having any methanol in your alcohol. This is what they call heads because it's the first part that comes through a still and the last part is actually called tails. So the tails is not as good quality and probably taste not as good as well so people discard those as well and keep the remaining um, body of the alcohol that drips through. Alright it's been just over two hours, it's been about two hours and twenty minutes and I've actually collected one litre of uh, neutral spirits in here. So let's now test this for its alcohol percentage. This thing which is called an alcometer and this uh, tube, you fill that up with your alcohol and dunk this in and it'll tell you how much alcohol you've got. It's about 45-48% alcohol. So what we need to do now is water that down so that it is 40% alcohol. So this is just tap water. And we just add a little bit at a time and then re-measure it. Now we've got 40% alcohol. And now that this is watered down, it's actually giving us 1.2 litres of vodka. How awesome is that? But now we've got to polish the spirits. So essentially we've got to now run it through carbon filters to be able to clean it up so it smells nice and there's no um, odours or anything like that associated with it which will then give you a nice clean neutral spirit where you can add your flavouring to. Alright, that's it for this video. So check out the next video on how to carbon filter your spirits and how to add flavoring. Alright guys, see us.